It's late October 2019 in Dixie Hills, a small neighborhood in West Atlanta. This young man right here, he has a great platform and opportunity to make change in this city and any city that he travels to. So, uh, Hawks forward John Collins has arrived at VEO, the Veterans Empowerment Organization. I really appreciate you know each and every one of you guys' service uh, from the bottom of my heart. I truly mean that. And uh, I just, you know, thought, you know, with the platform that I was given and just the opportunities that I have now and that I see that I can, you know, do and, and reach, I wanted to help out. So I'm happy to help. This will not be the, the last thing that I do. So thank you all again. For Collins, an event like this is more than just an opportunity to meet veterans. Two, three. It was a chance for him to connect with his roots. My mom was a Air Force veteran now, and my father served into the military, both 20 years plus, um, both different branches. Like most military families, Lyria Collins' service in the U.S. Army caused her to move constantly, from Utah to Washington, to Guam to Turkey. John went with her, and because his parents served in different branches of the military, they weren't always together. Collins credits his mother with teaching him about sacrifice and service. She showed me. She didn't really have to teach me too much. Just her being a single mom, uh, serving in the military, doing it by herself. She just showed me what it was, the responsibility, the maturity. To be a single military mom is it's a very tough job. Verbal shout out of where you guys or what branch of service uh, you gentlemen served in? Army. OK, we got Army. Air Force. Air Force. Army. Air Force. Air Force. United States Army. Army. Colin says one of the most immediate issues facing veterans is the struggle to reintegrate into civilian life. For people to, you know, maybe we're overseas stationed and coming back and now just sort of plopped into the, to the civilian life again, it's, it's, it's just a culture shock. Some veterans have mental health problems from that. And it's a very serious and pressing issue. What do you want NBA fans to understand about what you're doing with veterans and why? I want them to understand that these veterans have given their life to the cause for us. And I feel like it's just very important for just to show a little bit of gratitude back and at least give them the, the proper path and tools to succeed. Coming from a military home, you know, I, I know what it's like. So I always uh, definitely have a big heart for, for my veterans. So, yes, sir. On this day, giving them the proper tools means providing veterans with something tangible as they try to get back on their feet. Mr. Michael Hicks, with your, with your job interview, please come get your suit. We can get you a job. Let's see if we can help you out. Oh, uh, yes, sir. How you doing? How you doing? For him to come out here and not just provide something, but to show up and engage with our veterans, it's a game changer for our veterans that have been living out on the streets that don't have something nice to wear. Somebody get this man a job. Yeah. Yes, sir. Right. Knowing that somebody that cares in the community is huge. For one particular veteran, Colin's gift couldn't come at a better time. I, I interview tomorrow. I'm looking for good things tomorrow, man. Yeah, new suit, new job, Atlanta. <laughs> <laughs> The connection between Collins and these veterans comes from a lifetime of being shown what it means to serve. He knows that his mother would be proud. For me, the biggest thing is being able to tell her and prove to her that I actually gave back to her cause and you know, trying to give back a little bit for what she's done for the country in my own way. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.